Today, I thought I'd talk about something that I thought might improve the Freedom Pop wireless experience on the iPhone going forward. Back when I reviewed Freedom Pop on my iPhone success, I talked about how you had to use the Freedom Pop app for calls and texts, how you were not able to use the built-in phone app or the contacts app. And in my review, I said that I felt like Freedom Pop changed the experience on the iPhone quite a bit from the way you would use it with normal cellular service. Now, I also tried out Freedom Pop Wireless on my Nexus 6 with Android, and I felt like Freedom Pop integrated a lot better into the Nexus 6 with Android. So I was kind of wondering if and when Apple would add those kind of integration features into the iPhone so voice over IP services like Freedom Pop would get better. So I started to search around, and I found this article from back in August of 2016 on the iDownload blog. Now, according to this article, in iOS 10, Apple added voice over IP integration features for developers. Now, what Apple did is they added something called CallKit. And with CallKit, app developers can better integrate voice over IP calls into the iPhone so that they behave more like cellular calls. If uh, the Freedom Pop app was updated with these CallKit features, they could do things like put the contact image on the lock screen for an incoming VoIP call. And they would be able to integrate with the Contacts app and the phone's recent and favorites. Now, this article might be a little bit technical for some people, but for people that regularly watch the channel, I think it's an interesting read. And I think they have a couple interesting pictures in here. Okay, so here's an example before iOS 10. If you had a Skype call coming in, this is what it would look like on the iPhone. And then down here, it shows what a Skype call could look like coming in over iOS 10. You can see here, here's the contact image on the lock screen. And this is kind of nice because then you're getting the same kind of experience that you would get with cellular calls. Now, another nice thing about CallKit is developers will be able to integrate with the recents and favorites and the contacts app. And you'll be able to view and answer incoming VoIP calls just like you would cellular calls. It also looks like you'll be able to mute, put on hold, switch from audio to video. And it also looks like you'll get a lot of other features for voice over IP services directly in the phone app. And it looks like there's a long list of other call kit features here, which will let voice over IP services like Freedom Pop integrate a lot better into the iPhone experience. Now, potentially you'd be able to return a Freedom Pop call right from the recents list in your phone app. And it also looks like voice over IP services would then be able to integrate with Siri. Now, I also found this other article on 9to5Mac back from September of 2016, and it already talks about how Facebook's Messenger app now supports CallKit on iOS 10, brings a voice over IP calling to CarPlay. So it looks like some of the other voice over IP services are integrating CallKit. Hopefully, we'll see that Freedom Pop will add these services to the iPhone in their upcoming app releases. All right, well, I think that's going to be it. I just found this interesting, so thought I'd make a video and share it with you.